welcome back to my channel Sidekicker. In this video, I'm going to talk about the connectivity review on the Realme GT Neo 2 device. So the reason why I'm doing this kind of video is because I'm getting plenty of comments regarding the connectivity device. For example, how many 5G bands, whether the phone supports Wi-Fi 6 or not, whether the phone is capable of carrier aggregation or not, how many bands, 2cc, 3cc, 4cc, it's supported or not, and what about the transfer link speed, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So these are the few things which I'm going to talk in this entire video. So first, let's start with the basic thing regarding the 5G. So how many 5G bands in this phone? So there are eight 5G bands which are present in the Realme GT Neo 2 device, which you can actually find the official details from the official Realme website as well regarding the 5G band support. So the total there are eight 5G bands, so you should not be worried about the future proof option as well. So that's kind of really a good relief, definitely friends. So the more 5G bands, the more it's kind of better as a future proof option in case if you are planning to use this phone for the next three to years, three to four years or maybe long run, it will be really benefit. So next thing is about the Wi-Fi 6. Whether the phone supports any kind of Wi-Fi 6 or not, that's all also another uh, question which I'm getting from plenty of my subscribers as well. Right now, if you try to look at the Wi-Fi, as you can see, there are 2.4 gigahertz to uh, 5 gigahertz and uh, 6 gear, which is a Wi-Fi 6 version. You can clearly see. So let me to connect to the Wi-Fi 6 right now. As soon as I started to connect to the Wi-Fi 6, you will be able to successfully connect. You can clearly see it's showing the Wi-Fi 6 as well. So overall, the Realme GT Neo 2 supports the Wi-Fi 6. If the phone doesn't support the Wi-Fi 6, there will be no indication of the Wi-Fi 6 at all in the notification panel or maybe in the Wi-Fi. It will just try to show us normal Wi-Fi 5 GHz only. So apart from that, there's another uh, special feature which I'll try to show you next. But let's take a look at the transfer link speed for the 2.4 GHz. So transfer link speed for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz also not an issue, friends, because we do have the really good transfer link speed, 300 Mbps of transfer link speed. And even the 5 GHz also has got maximum whatever the my Wi-Fi router has got, I think 4086, somewhere around that. It has got exactly same kind of high speeds, 5 GHz network as well. So in the Wi-Fi connectivity wise, no issues with the Realme GT Neo 2. It's perfect in terms of the Wi-Fi connectivity. Before also, I did not have any kind of problem with the realme in terms of the wi-fi connectivity regarding the realme gt or realme xn max realme gt master edition as well these phones are really good in the connectivity wise that's the one thing which i can definitely strongly say connectivity so next thing is about the wi-fi 6 capabilities in the personal hotspot you can actually create the wi-fi 6 hotspot also as well as you can see there's an option to do that if you want you can create the wi-fi 6 hotspot so now we got to know about the 5G and next thing we got to know about the Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi 6 and everything we got to know. And third is the 4G place. How is the carrier aggregation in this device? So these are the most interesting topic about the carrier aggregation. Let me try to show you the carrier aggregation. Right now I'll try to turn on the 4G data as well. So in my location with the Geo SIM card only, it's possible for me to show the carrier aggregation. So all these are the screenshots which are taken using this Realme GT Neo 2 only. I used to get, I did get the 4, 4CC, 3CC and 2CC as well with the carrier aggregation. You can see the symbol indication 4G plus. So this is inside my house only friends, which I did show you. And even I did do the separate dedicated video as well regarding the 4G plus connectivity. If you want, you can check the playlist for more details because the playlist will give the clear idea about the Realme GT Neo 2, what is going on with the device, whether to buy this phone or not. But overall in the connectivity wise, I'm really completely satisfied with the phone. No issues with the Wi-Fi or no issues with the 5G and 4G place as well. Nothing much major complaints regarding the connectivity in the Realme GT Neo 2. This might be helpful for other users who are actually looking for the connectivity device. So make sure to follow the playlist friends for the playlist of the Realme GT Neo 2. The playlist only can help you to decide whether to buy this device or not. That's the reason why I'm asking you to check the playlist. You can check the links in description or maybe in the comments for the playlist as well. See you in the next video. I'll be for more updates, friends. Thank you for watching. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.